Hey guys, I know you guys want tutorials, and I was trying to think of a cool one. I already kind of went over the basics of drawing, so what can I do? How about drawing with a mouse instead of one of these things? Let's throw it away and let's do the mouse. All right. So basically, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you a couple of different techniques on drawing with just a mouse, regular mouse. So if you don't have a tablet and you can't afford a tablet, here's a couple of techniques that you can still do. It's only like two, but we'll see if we can kind of expand it on Minecraft Steve over here. I thought because he's blocky, he'd be like the perfect candidate. So um, what we're going to be doing first is um, we're going to be taking the pencil tool instead of the brush tool. I've, I've kind of like started using the pencil tool instead. Um, let me explain that real quick. All right, so let's draw something with them. Here's the brush tool, you know. Okay, just lines. And here's the pencil tool. Eh, same thing. Uh, not quite. If you look, if you look, they kind of have different edges. This has a more harsh and contrasting edge, while this has a little bit of anti-aliasing. Uh, the reason why I switched over to this, even though it doesn't look nearly as pretty close up, if you look at this. It fills in perfectly while this one still has like this halo. So I know a lot of comic book artists and a lot of conceptual artists use this because how like clean it is versus this. So uh, I recommend using the pencil tool and that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, the best part, let me go back, uh, is that when you zoom out, you can't tell the difference between the two. They all look fine, especially with printed, and sometimes this will even come out better printed. So let's, uh, let's get rid of these and let's actually start our tutorial. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is, uh, here's a quick little technique. If you ever have to draw um, straight lines, just hold shift. Look at that. Whoop. That's awesome, right? Uh, yeah, just holding shift on any program, uh, any Adobe software, usually draws a straight line. Even better, if you want diagonals or a more specific line, all you have to do is click the point that you want to start at, then hold shift and click the next point, and it fills in the gaps. Check this out. Uh, drawing the stuff became ten times easier. Just clicks. No drawing, no lines, just clicks. Boom. Uh, we're going to draw this line with a smaller brush. That way. Um, by the way, I only use default brushes. I know I get a lot of questions about like what makes my brushes so special. It's all in the wrist, baby. So there we go. Now we got a character. Um, why did I do that? Let's, let's, let's make this uh, black lines. Now... Obviously, we can do this technique for a few things, like the the beard here. It's kind of, kind of a straight look, so that's kind of easy. But uh, beyond that, we could do the eyes. But beyond that, we can't really do much else. The rest is just kind of organic, right? So let me introduce you to another tool that you can use without a, a pen. And that is the pen tool. Kind of funny. Uh, not funny. Okay, so what this does is click where you want to start, click where you want to end, click in the middle. So, we, so it's a straight line, right? We don't want a straight line. We want an organic line. Click wherever you want and hit Control and drag it. Now it's now it's a curve, right? Click this, move it up, hold control to move things, so that way you can freely move it. Uh, actually, you don't have to hit control, I just do it by default. <laughs> but uh, I know that hitting control here, um, hitting control here makes it where you can manipulate them. So I just kind of hold control by default because I manipulate a lot. But there, there we go. So we got the, uh, the line, but we just have this pin thing, you know, like, oh, okay, this is kind of weird. Um, go to window and go to path. It will bring up this if it's not already over here. And what you can do here is you can right click and stroke path. Now, the pencil tool is what we're using. If you want to use the brush, use the brush and you can use any of these tools really. And what it's going to do is it's going to draw a line through that path. So let's click it and show you. Boom. Uh, when you're done with your uh, work path, just click down here, and look, there you go. Uh, got you got an organic line. Now, some of you guys are probably thinking, but we kind of want it to taper off. We want you know the the thin lines at the bottom, like when you regular when you draw with a pen. And you know what? You can do that with this tool. Check this out. Uh, right click, stroke, and simulate pressure. Click, and now what it does is at the beginning of it, it starts out thin, and then like as it goes through thickens until it gets to the end again. 
um, if you want like a more um, um, like an easier way to seeing it let's just go ahead and thicken the line there you go and check it out just like you drew it with pencil that's awesome let's go ahead and do the rest of the piece but honestly this is the the two techniques there's not really much to it I'll do the rest of the piece so you guys can kind of get a feel for it and I'll try to do it quickly so this video is not like an hour long but yeah so it's not it's not it's doable you can draw without a pen you can draw with just your computer uh, well some people might argue that this isn't actually drawing but uh, it's digital art regardless now sometimes these shapes are a little bit trickier like the, the nose you kinda have to experiment with them I don't know what I'm doing on the first hand sometimes it might take me a couple of times to actually get like um, one of these guys right or like you know figuring out how I'm gonna do these shapes and this is more of a problem-solving thing than it is anything else um, I like to think of art and drawing as like problem solving skills because like you know what you want you see in your head you close your eyes you're like okay that's the drawing I want but you have to figure out what do I have to do to get the look like to be able to draw put it on paper essentially it's like especially with digital art you're like okay I know this technique and I know this technique which one of these will do or like how can I get it to look exactly like a painting or do this and so it's just kind of figuring out some stuff. Let's see here, let's draw this. Time for some hair. Um, you know what? Let's do a some teeth. Yeah. But yeah, so like I said, I, I don't 100% know what I'm doing with this. Um, I'm just like experimenting. And I wish I could give you guys like a surefire, like, oh, this is how you do this, this is how you do this. But um, I'm a little bit of a novice when it comes to the pen tool. I only use it when I desperately need to. And uh, boom. I know a lot of people get really frustrated with the pen tool. So don't expect to get this on the first try expect to kind of mess up a couple of times and get kind of frustrated with it but like um, for people who can't afford the thing it's a good alternative and it's just you know figuring it out but uh, I think the easiest way to control it is going to the point that you want so you know we want this to here and then manipulating it in the middle uh, I've always had the best results from that um, try not to uh, do what I'm doing here and manipulate the line at the point of creation. The reason why is because the next point you already have the manipu it's already manipulated for you. Uh, while the other one, I feel like you have easier time, you know, kind of tweaking it here and getting that, keeping that harsh edge. All right, let's look at our guy. Let's take away the sketch and let's see how our Steve came out. Boom, not too bad. Forgot to draw his eyes. He's a zombie. That's a quick fix. Boom. Uh, the best part about this whole thing is, though, is that um, because we use the pencil tool, we can just kind of fill in the gaps now. So it's just like, oh, let's fill in our color. Boom. Uh, I'm not even going to bother making a new layer for it. I'm just going to fill in the color. And there you go. There's our Minecraft Steve. Not the greatest thing I've ever done, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, I hope this helps you guys draw, for the, especially the ones who can't afford a tablet. And um, let me know in the comments if it does. If you're like, man, this really helps. I can't wait to draw. Show me what you do. I have plenty of different sites. DeviantArt, Tumblr, uh, Twitter. Send me links of what you draw with this. You know, Be like, yo, Steven, look, I drew this thanks to you. And I'll be like, that's awesome. So anyways, I'll see you guys next tutorial.